ancient city there lived a carpet merchant who had two sons one named Kasim the other Ali Baba after their father's death the greedy Kasim took all over his father's business fooling knife to Ali Baba Kasim married a rich woman Ali Baba had to maintain his wife and his children behind the tree. There came a troop of 40 men on horse back carrying sacks and stopped near a big boulder at the mountain foot. They have daggers and swords on their weight. This must be a gang of thieves. But what are they doing in the forest? One of the thieves who looked like their leader came in front of the boulder. and entrance doors to a dark cave and they, the door got closed. Behind them, Ali Baba was struck. The door swung open again and out came the thieves with empty hands. They left their sacks inside the cave. Oh, these must be their hideout for treasure. Ali Baba couldn't rest. Entering the cave, he stood in front of the boulder and shouted, Open Sesame! There were huge piles of gold, silver, precious utensils, diamonds, rubies and much more that Ali Baba had never seen in his life. Ali Baba rubbed his eyes in this life. But it was all lying there on the ground. I will take some coins. This will you will notice it. Ali Baba filled a bag full of coins and reached home. in front of her. Ah, have you stolen these coins? I have not stolen anything. It, it, it was already stolen. Ha, ha, ha. I will count these first. No, you, we can't count these much coins. Go to my brother's law and bring a waiting scale. Ali Baba's wife quickly ran to his brother's in-law's house. Here, give me a waiting scale for tonight. I will return it by tomorrow morning. What will you pack with it? Nothing, just some grains. Was a cunning woman. She thought that Ali Baba couldn't have so much grain to wait. So she stuck wax below the scale and gave it to Ali Baba's wife. Ali Baba's wife waited the gold coins and was very happy with their quantity. We have become rich. We can buy whatever we want. Not so soon. Ali Baba's wife accepted the condition to keep mom. But on the second day, Kasim's wife discovered their secret by seeing the scale. So she immediately informed Kasim about his brother's wealth. Ali Baba has gold coins. Where did he get those? I must find out. He realized that he could not sleep. So he immediately went to Ali Baba's house. Ali, how are you brother? I can hear you ask if you need anything. Don't hit it ever. You are ask whatever for you are want. Your elder brother is always here for you. Oh brother, I am glad that you came for me. But I have got enough wealth that I don't need now though I don't need anything else from you. Wealth? Tell me about it. Innocent Ali 
Alibaba couldn't hold the truth in his stomach and told Kasim everything about the thieves and the cave. That's good. I will go there tomorrow. After all, your money is my responsibility. I have to take the care of it. Mm, uh, hold the code word to open the cave. Open sesame. The next morning, Kasim left from his house with four study mules to carry gold. Oh, I will be richer than the richest. Then she poured a jug full of oil 
in every barrel. At the night, the thief came to the barrel and was shocked and scared. He was trapped in his own trap. He escaped from there with fear. The next morning, Morgana told the incident to Alibaba. You saved my life. I can't thank you enough. Now on, you are a member of this family, not just a man. Thank you, Alibaba. All stayed together as a happy family.